We're continuing our trip down memory lane, talking milestones and memories. Are we ready for more? It's 1980. Phil and Marlo get married. And you guys met actually in 1977, is that correct, on Phil's talk show? It, we just clicked right off. We clicked on his show. It was obvious that we, we were very attracted to each other. And I just loved his confidence. He just, uh, you know, he, yeah. really, he knew what he was doing. And, oh, he, yeah. and I was on a, a tour for a movie. So I did his show in Chicago. And then uh, I was moving to the next city. And he got a hold of where I was and, and asked me if Denver was very far from Chicago. And I said, oh, no, not very far at all. And so he came to Denver. And we had dinner. And, and that was it, I mean, really. And I've been in living in Hollywood for my whole life. I had not met people like Phil that were more like my family, um, middle class values, Midwest. My dad was from Toledo. My husband's from Cleveland. Um, it, it, we, we just looked. I mean, it was like I met somebody from my own tribe. Oh, gosh, swoon. <laughs> Is there something that you guys do for each other or do with each other that maybe we don't know about? Well, you know, it, you were talking about our podcast. Um, the podcast was, to, to be clear, was, as to answer your question, was really we wanted to find out why it was that our marriage lasted. When we saw other friends who, who were falling apart, some of them, some of our friends, like Alan Alda and Arlene Alden, and several others, Letty Pogrebin and her husband Bert, have been together 60 years. Billy Crystal, 50 years. How, how does that happen? And we kind of wanted to know that, because people kept asking us, what's your secret sauce? And we thought, well, we don't know what it is. We love each other, we like each other, but what is it? Who said, the, make, to make a marriage last, you should sleep Tushy to tushy. Right. So, I mean, we got a lot of good advice. Ju Judith Vigors. But what we learned as we traveled around the country on these double dates was that people who made it, both people, right? Wanted yeah, the marriage. Both people wanted the marriage. You know, you see in some relationships where one person is sort of dragging it along and making it work and, and making all the accommodations. But in a marriage that lasts a long time, both people want it, both people fight for it, whether it means marriage counseling or whatever, and nobody's looking for the exit sign. Yeah. And that is a, that may sound simple-minded, but boy, it's tough. And this is a perfect segue to 2021 and your podcast, Double Date. Yeah. Um, I'm so excited about this podcast that you have. You have extraordinary guests on, wonderful couples who have figured out that secret sauce, as you call it. Um, the list is impressive. I mean, it's Sting and Trudy Styler and Viola Davis and Neil Patrick Harris and John McEnroe and all of these interesting people, Bob Woodward, that Ali, you know, Wentworth. I I'm like... These are the voices I'd really love to hear from, coming at it with different perspectives, James Carville, Alan Alda. I want to hear what and they have to say about a lasting marriage. And you know what's important, Drew? Uh, we talked a lot about fighting, you know, how you fight and how you come back from a fight. But the, I think the thing that we thought when we got off the road, aside from the fact that they'd nobody look for an exit sign and that they were all in. As Kira Sedgwick said, there is no plan B. But the other thing we noticed is that people make the accommodations for each other. Phil and I are completely different. And after 40 years, I realized that no matter how hard I try, he is never going to be me. And no matter how hard he tries, I'm never going to be him. So you have to make the accommodation for the other person and realize you love that person, so let them be. Let them be free to be. Let them be who they are. And that takes a while because when people first get together, they think, oh, well, I'll change that about him and I'll get her to stop doing that. And as uh, John McEnroe's wife, Patty Smythe, who's just a knockout, she said, women marry potential. She said, forget it. There is no potential. Marry who you see. It, it's not going to become 
It's not going to bloom into another person that you might rather have. And she said, so many of her girlfriends say, I know he doesn't look like my type now, but he's got great potential. She said, walk away, walk right away. And I think that that's another thing to really think about, you know, before you get married is be sure that it's, um, it, it, it's, it's what exactly that person is who you want. And Allie Wentworth and George Stephanopoulos are the cutest couple. You would never put them together. I mean, I would never have fixed them up, and I love to fix people up. But, you know, George is this statesman. He's very, you know, he's all buttoned up. And she's just this wild, wonderful, funny thing. And she loves to talk about sex, and he goes, ah! You know, and it's, it, it's adorable. And, and we asked her, well, what's your advice about sex? And she said, have it. And have a lot of it. And she, oh, <laughs> just, I just love her. I uh, <laughs> love what you said that Patty Smythe said about don't marry potential. That is right. a real pipe dream. And you're right. People should not try to change each other. They should try to change and grow in life, but not change each other. And I, I couldn't agree more.